Changes are in store for Indiana voters under a new law, and those changes come from Senate Bill 560. Vigo County Clerk Brad Newman says two initials must now be on every ballot, one Republican and one Democrat, and that requires hiring two more people at each voting center. Another big change, all absentee ballots cannot be counted until 6 a.m. on Election Day. And just those modifications alone means a change in the election budget. And when I say slow it down, there's a good chance unless we have another 60 or 70 people opening envelopes and being part of this process that we may not have election results complete for sure for a day, two days, a couple days. Newman says his office is fully aware that we live in a world of instant gratification and results are wanted immediately. He says in order to plan for November's election, officials will hold a mock election, possibly several, to prepare and practice. I said when preparation meets opportunity and when we have that opportunity, we take advantage of it. We don't let a lot of people down. The municipal general election is set for November 5th.